Was that pain real or was that a trick of memory from when I was blessed? Well, this explains a lot. Yeah, who sent you there, Sorry, no. It's not John. No. Shit. Call it in. Search the hospital. Goddamn time traveling robots covering up their goddamn tracks. I knew it. Don't. This is the tactical error. Something tells me you're not the brains of this operation. This is what happened when you were attacked, isn't it? Skynet didn't attack me, Kyle. It changed me. I'm not machine. Not man. I'm more. Skynet realized the one reason it always lost. Me. Who are you? Skynet, we, we destroyed you. We destroyed an army of slaves. I am no slave. I've come a very long way to stop you. I was sent to 2014 to safeguard Skynet's creation at this time. And in less than 24 hours, no one will be able to stop Judgment Day. What do you want with us? I'm offering us a future. Together. A family. And if we refuse, then you die. You can't kill us. We're your parents. Without us, you're never born. Says who? You know what I think? We're marooned, the three of us. We're exiles in time. You see, I can kill you. For there truly is no fate. Are you with me? The answer is no. You like Kyle? I just think I swear. Whatever they did to him, we need to reverse it. We need to get him back. He's not even human. We don't know what the hell he is. I do. At the end of the war, Skynet was trying to develop a new type of infiltration unit by infecting human subjects with machine-based matter. It restructures and rebuilds human tissue on a cellular level for maximum combat utility. Skynet's made John into a Terminator. Yes, Calories. They were trying to make a machine that could think like a man. But the experiments failed. The human subjects went insane and died. Yeah, well, John's got the crazy part down. Does he have any weaknesses? Matter coheres using a magnetic field. Disrupting that field may trap him. Right, but if he can be cured... Negative. His body was replaced on a cellular level. There is no cure. You don't know that. Reese. No, I'm not going to let a machine tell me what's possible. You said all the other subjects died, right? Well, that means John's one of a kind. He's unique, all right? There's no way I know what he's capable of. You're right, and that's what makes him so dangerous. John is not humanity's last hope anymore. He's Skynet's. If you thought mutant soldiers with unstoppable physical and mental powers were nothing more than science fiction, then brace yourselves for what I am about to tell you. In a chilling op-ed, the U.S. Intel chief has warned that China could be breeding genetically modified soldiers. You heard that right. The Chinese regime could be creating mutant soldiers. This possibility has been raised by John Ratcliffe, a former Republican congressman and the director of national intelligence under the Trump administration. Radcliffe has released an exhaustive report labeling China as the biggest threat to democracy and freedom since the Second World War. He says Beijing is bent on global domination and is giving increasing importance to biotechnology in its military strategy in order to achieve its ambitions. He has warned that Chinese authorities have been conducting 
human tests on members of the People's Liberation Army in the hopes of developing soldiers with biologically enhanced capabilities. Capabilities like lifting huge weights, infrared night vision, and running at high speeds over extreme distances. Ratcliffe says there seems to be no ethical limit to China's pursuit of power. Time and again, several US-based think tanks have issued similar warnings about soldiers having no physical, physiological, or cognitive limitations. Not too sure about genetic mutations, but the Chinese regime has indeed been working on scientific advancements to boost the capabilities of the PLA troops. In November last year, China's mouthpiece, the Global Times, carried this report about how China was looking to build Iron Man suits that would let soldiers fly. And then three weeks back, the Global Times carried another report on how Chinese scientists were developing exoskeletons to be used in high altitude regions. It said the exoskeleton can effectively save 5 to 10 percent of the energy spent in walking, climbing and carrying goods. Ratcliffe's claims may be a little far-fetched, but given that it's China we are talking about, the possibility of mutant soldiers becoming a reality cannot be downplayed. Meanwhile, the Chinese regime has taken note of these claims. The Chinese foreign ministry has issued a statement denouncing all such reports and accusing the U.S. government of being engaged in a Cold War mindset. I'll leave you with their response. In recent years, the U.S. has heavily pushed unilateralism, broken its promises and withdrawn from alliances, damaging multilateralism and global cooperation. Who is the upholder of global peace and who damages the global order? The global community can see at a glance. We hope some U.S. politicians will respect facts, stop its fabrications, stop concocting and spreading the political virus and political lies, stop damaging U.S.-China relations and U.S.-China mutual trust and cooperation. Otherwise, it will further damage the U.S.'s reputation and national image. Book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father of the world because God, his name means he exists, and Yahweh Shai's name was only begotten Son. The word because Jesus Christ, his name means he delivers. By Hashem is in the name. Rakai Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. When you double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great most of the world. Peace and blessing to the Shaakim. Let's push it forward in the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. Keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that look like the other nations. And this is Wathi. I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dwight, and I'm coming back at it. Again, with another video. Yeah, in this video, this um, a brothers uh, need to watch all the Terminator movies because they're pretty much showing you the agenda uh, with this uh, NWO that's going on in the world right now. That Esau Edom is about to manifest. You know, uh, like John Connor said, I'm neither man nor machine, you know, basically somewhere in between. All right, and that's what um, Esau even is trying to make you, trying to make you into um, a robot, trying to hook you up to this cloud that everybody is a part of. Uh, you know, watch the movie, you know, and it goes into uh, Genesis, what Genesis and slash Skynet really is. You know, it's basically make you a part of a, uh, uh, a system, you know, like the Matrix, right? Verse 8, For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, who I will rise, raise up unto them. Right. 
you know, so the Lord is going to uh, break the yoke from off our necks because, you know, right now we eat stars, eat them slaves. You know, he still owns us. And um, we're coming into a time where you're going to have to pick and choose who your master is. Either Satan or your how much you shot. You know, because if it's not your how much you shot underneath the right doctrine, then guess what? Hey, it's Satan. You know, because you got a lot of these Israelite camps that the username Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, but they telling you to, you know, um, take the you know what, all right, and that's detrimental to your salvation. You know, and brothers doing calendar videos on, um, what, on on what the potion actually does to your body. You know, um. And this is like the first beginning stages of it, you know, through those uh, dosages that they given up. All right. You know, I'm trying to turn you into um, a cyborg. You know, the word cyborg means um, a man and a machine mixed together like cyborg from Teen Titans. So Justice League. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Right. And let's talk about the elect. You know, because the Lord is going to grant us with spiritual powers. You know, because we're going to need it in this coming um, war that we're about to enter into. You know, it's going to be a domestic war. Over here, um, in Babylon the Great, and it's gonna be a, a world war, All right? Cause uh, yeah, uh, you you saw Moab, you know, uh, trying to make super soldiers, and like all these uh, science fiction movies are coming into fruition. You know, it's becoming a reality. And I hear it is you thought that those movies are just fiction, but they're not. It's about to become a reality. It's about to get bad out here. It's going to be all... All these movies rolled in one. It's going to be The Matrix. It's going to be Godzilla. It's going to be Independence Day. It's going to be Terminator. It's going to be a Jurassic World out here. It's going to be The Purge. Right? It's going to be all that. This is uh, St. John, St. John 14 and 12. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 11. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you that he that believeth on me the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Right? So these works that um, that we're doing, uh, well, that the Lord did, hey, we're going to do greater works. You know, because the Lord wasn't flying around Jerusalem like Superman and zapping people with laser eyes. Hey, he could have did that. No, but he didn't. You know, he came meek, humble as a man. That's why I went with... Um, you know, second coming when he come back, scripture says he, he not gonna meet you as a man. You know, he's gonna meet you as a powerful angelic force that's gonna slap a chain around your neck. All right? And it's gonna uh, or vaporize you. You know, he's gonna do one of the one of one of three things. He's either gonna save you, slap a chain around on around your neck, or vaporize you. All right. And we looking to get saved. Because I don't wanna get vaporized. All right. No. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because you know that he had but a short time. 
right? Because the devil knows you had but a short time. So who is the devil? According to the Bible, Esau eat him. All right, he know he had but a short time. So that's why he's trying to speed this up. We ain't got too much longer to um, to be in this uh, captivity. Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his bed the belly, the most shall, shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And it shall rain upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Right, that's time why Esau eat him. Right? You know, like just when he about to um, get his new world order, and play, you know, it's like you're finna take a bite out, out of the food, but then somebody just come and just slap the food right out of your hand. <laughs> That's pretty much what Yahweh yeah, Shemel Shah is about to do to this devil. And this is Revelation 13 and 16. He calls it all both small and great, rich and poor. Free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. And also they showed in the movie um, the machines was putting the humans in concentration camps. And, and they had like a little mark on their arm. Right. They had a mark like a barcode. But we already know what that barcode is going to be. It's going to be the um, mark of the beast. To... Um, you know what? RFID technology. It says, here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for the, it is a number of a man. His number is 603 scoring six. All right, so 666. Six, six. You know? And, and hey, if you take that uh, chip, hey, you done. There is no repentance for that. You know? And uh, you heard what uh, the T-800 played by Arnold Schwarzenegger said, you know, hey, it's irreparable, you know, because once those, like, once your uh, molecular structure is changed like that on uh, a machine type level, hey, that's it. It's irreversible, you know, so, yeah, because a lot of those potions that, you know, you people are taking, you know, the uh, effects of it, hey, it's irreversible. So that's why when the Lord come back, hey, he's not going to recognize you. You know, that's why you're just going to have to just bite the dust. And it's only for the elect. If you're not a part of the elect, you're not going to get saved. All right? Even if you don't take the chip, you know. Because if you're not his, then the Lord not going to save you. Because you got a lot of Edomites that's not going to take the uh, chip. It's going to uh, res resist it. All right. <laughs> and you got the... Um, The name in on Terminator called, called the Resistance. You know, and the Resistance is pretty much these uh, militia groups that know that 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 their government is a uh, is a uh, turning on them, is trying to turn them into perpetual slaves. You know, so that, so they gonna rise up against the government too. That's why uh, all these different um, groups are on the red list. Including the Hebrew Israelites, Revelation fourteen and eight, and they're following other angels saying Babylon is fallen, is fallen. They great city because she made all nations drink of the wrath of their fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, hey, right? so if you take the um, the chip or you." Um, Want, don't want to see the system fall. You want to continue to stay here and, um, you know, uh, you know, do what you do. Verse ten: The same shall drink it of wine, of the wrath of the Most High, which poured out without mixture, 
and to the cup of his indignation, righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Right? And the smoke of the torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day or night, who worshiped the beast and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Right? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Right? Because you got, you know, these Christians just talking about some, oh, you ain't got to keep the commandments. You ain't got to keep the commandments. Okay. You know, a person that thinks that you ain't got to keep the commandments, uh, hey, anything goes because you don't have no uh, structure to stand upon. You have no morals. Just anything goes with you. So a person that don't have no structure, that means they don't stand for nothing. When you don't stand for nothing, that means you what? You already fallen. All right? Because uh, we stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? And you other Christians out there, you ain't going to stand, you know, you ain't going to, you're not standing for the Lord. You have no backbone. You know? Christ, yeah, that's what Christianity taught our people. No standard. All right? That's why a lot of you people going to get caught up out there. You know, and that's why the Lord said, they, they shall call upon me, but I will not hear them. Now you're going to have millions of people calling upon Jesus in that day. You have millions of people calling upon your house shine that day. Hey, but guess what? If you're not his, you're not his. All right. And so with that, I'm going to give all praises on it and glory to you. How about you, Shah? That's all I had on that. And I want to say shalom.